Well, first of all, let me thank everyone for giving me this, this opportunity and apologize for being unable with you, to be with you personally. Unfortunately, in my condition of a cancer patient, a trip takes a huge amount of energy. So if I can make this trip as I have electronically, I appreciate the opportunity. Secondly, I've been a libertarian all my life. I, I don't believe in prohibitions of any type. Uh, for the very simple thing that prohibition doesn't work. With respect to what prohibition tries to achieve, history and world experience proves that the opposite is achieved. The war on drugs has been lost, and the only way of winning the war on drugs is just stopping it and, and place, legalizing, placing money in rehabilitation and education. And I've been on record as this being my, my position for a long, long time. That is my background. And as fate wanted it, I had to become a, my, a, a user of cannabis myself for medical purposes. I did not use cannabis you know, in my youth or for recreational purposes, with a couple of exceptions when I tried it. But I'm now relying on cannabis, surely for pain management purposes, and hopefully for therapeutic and curative purposes. I have done as much research as anyone can do, and I believe that there are no rational reasons to withhold these effective and harmless medicines from all those who need it. The fact that it has been withheld is nothing short than a crime against humanity. And as a member of parliament, as a political representative, I feel I have the duty of conscience to raise my individual circumstances onto a more general paradigm I'm not fighting for me, I'm fighting for everyone. That's my responsibility because I, I've been given a job to be a spokesperson. And I will carry that battle for everyone concerned. Politicians across the aisle, different political parties, at the private level, there is great resistance at the public level. Everyone wants to play to the courts of higher morality, which is an empty morality. But I think that once the issue is placed before them and their complexity, there might be a shifting of grounds, as it has happened in the rest of the world. Okay. Now, I will introduce a bill to shake a tree. And at the end, I can only introduce, I cannot pass a bill. At the end, only the ruling party and the majority party can choose to pass the bill, pass some, another bill of the same content. What we need to do is to create the, the grassroots support, the, the wave of demand, but also the wave of moral indignation, mm -hmm. withholding, yes. withholding cannabis from those who are suffering and dying. It's a matter of outrage. It's an outrage. And, and that needs to be brought to, to, to bear. And so this is the time to mobilize. And it's, 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 it, it is on behalf of the people who can use cannabis for, for pain control to save their lives but also on behalf of those who believe in personal freedoms. I think we have the responsibility. For too long, the South African government has wasted its capacity of moral leadership that we gain without liberation struggle, and have become followers rather than leaders. This is a field in which we can be leaders. We have a Minister of Health who has got all the right 
male appurtenances. It's got balls, it's got gaps, and it's got the back. And, and, and we have a country which is uniquely positioned to make money out of cannabis. We grow sugar, which needs to be subsidized. Each, each kilo of sugar costs us money as a country. Wow. And it's a poison. Sugar, it's a poison that the use of which must be controlled and limited. With cannabis, there are great opportunity for beneficiation. There is a huge amount of products which can be developed. And so the growing side, we have perfect soils. There is expertise. On the beneficiation side, we can develop a national industry. This is what South Africa should be doing. There is no reason not to do it.